Hey everyone, my name is Camila Moore, the student voice for the 2012 presidential election. If you haven't registered to vote yet, please note that the registration deadline is October 22nd. If you need more information about how to vote, please go to rockthevote.com. November 3rd, Republican candidate Mitt Romney and President Obama convened in Denver, Colorado for the first of three presidential debates of the election season. Both candidates discussed issues concerning the economy, jobs, taxes, education, and health care. Both candidates proceeded to urge the American people about their high commitment to education. President Obama spoke about education and student loan reform. He stated that in order to keep college affordable, whether it's two-year or four-year, one of the things that he did as president was sending $60 billion to banks and lenders as middlemen for the student loan program, even though the loans were guaranteed. So there was no risk for the banks or lenders, but they were taking billions out of the system. So in an effort to cut out the middlemen, and as a consequence, the government has been able to provide millions of more students assistance and lower or keep interest rates low on student loans. President Obama also asserted that under Romney's plan, he would cut federal education funding by 20%. Mitt Romney stated that he has no plans to cut education funding and grants. He brought up the fact that President Obama put $90 billion into green jobs when that money could have gone to hiring 2 million new teachers. Health care was also a heated topic in the debate. Governor Romney attacked the idea of Obamacare, also known as the Affordable Health Care Act, by saying that the right answer is not to have the federal government take over health care and start mandating to the providers across America, telling a patient and a doctor what kind of treatment they can have, and that the private market and individual responsibility always works best. President Obama provided a counter-argument by stating there will be no board that can make decisions about what treatments are given, being that that's explicitly prohibited in the law. He then added, if you repeal Obamacare, what happens is those seniors right away are going to be paying $600 more for prescriptions. They're now going to have to be paying co-pays for basic checkups that can keep them healthier. And the primary beneficiary of that repeal are insurance companies that are estimated to gain billions of dollars back when they aren't making seniors any healthier. Obama also attacked Governor Romney's proposal to change Medicare into a voucher system. Obama explained, when you move to a voucher system, you're putting seniors at the mercy of those insurance companies, and over time, if traditional, if traditional Medicare has decayed or fallen apart, then they're stuck on jobs. Governor Romney asserted that since President Obama took office, jobs have been decreasing, and thus unemployment has been increasing. During the debate, he stated, the proof of that is that 50% of college graduates this year cannot find work. President Obama asserted that over the last 30 months, we've seen 5 million jobs in the private sector created. On jobs, President Obama did create more private sector jobs, yet in his first year in the office, the country lost 5 million jobs. The unemployment rate was surging, reaching as high as 10.6% in Ohio. So while things have gotten better since the um, unemployment rate in Ohio is now 7.6%, the cumulative job creation in the private sector during Obama's first term is in fact a more humble 125,000. Thus, this number could be seen as in disingenuous. However, job creation did change for the better after his first year in office. Both candidates provided clear contrast on their vision for America. So what did you think about the debate? Did the candidates cover the issues that are most salient to you? Please share your thoughts. Thanks.